hi it's Pebbles here again and I'm back with another video um, this video was supposed to be with um, the actor um, Patrick Swayze um, Patrick Swayze is a complete prankster <laughs> let me just let you know that right now I don't know what he's like for everybody else um, after I spoke to Patrick a couple of times I seen a couple of channels with Patrick Swayze and he hasn't seemed to mess them around as much as he's messed me around. He's just in and out. He's hilarious, he's actually like really funny, but he just really loves to mess around. He has messed around so many times. He comes in, he tells me off, he jokes around. He's funny, but he's bossy and he does whatever he pleases. But he actually did really have some really great information to share as well. So I'm either going to have to relay what he said in another future video or I have got some footage recording. But yeah, he kind of messed around a lot in that and then he just abruptly left. So um, I'm going to work out what we're going to do with that. But anyway, what he'd left behind tonight was um, a nice long comfy sofa and we currently have another guest who was lounging on that sofa but now he stepped right in so i can see his beautiful beautiful smile and beautiful eyes and i can feel his uplift and happy presence his beautiful presence and who i'm referring to is the lovely paul walker so he is here now and he has got some subjects that he wants to discuss with us um, he very kindly stepped in tonight to do this video even though we're supposed to come later on in the week to um after Patrick's video but I say he's here tonight so yeah he's got some stuff that he really wants to talk about and it's really a pleasure to have him here so um he is dressed in um he's got um let me just see what he's got a green shirt on anyway so he's just got a nice smart casual smart but casual shirt nice green color um he's got jeans on um with holes in the knee and he's wearing trainees okay because he's lifting his leg up so i can see the trainees yeah he showed me a pair of leg trainees he's got leg trainees on um is that right or yeah he's got leg trainees on because mm, he's, he's going like that to say yes so he's um yeah he's, he's he's comfy he was sitting lying back on the sofa before like really comfy but now he's sitting up so yeah he sort of stepped right in i couldn't really sort of see him that much of face i could see him but not as close as i can see him now so i've got a good view of him now what he's doing what he's wearing so um let's get right into the video and see what paul um, wants to talk about he's got a few subjects um he's going to talk about things today but he's going to talk about love and he wants to discuss um narcissists also as well which is a bit of a new subject um so yeah, what is it that you want to start off with, Paul? Okay, he's saying he'd like to talk about love. So he's got some things that he wants to talk about. Um, and the only thing that he's just relayed to me before was that love is an energy. Love is not just a feeling. More than a feeling, it's, it's an energy. So let's see what it is that he's got to share on the subject of love. Okay, so what is it you want to say? Okay, so he's saying, um, sorry, I forgot what you said. <laughs> sorry, believe that to me again. He's saying love is a, an ingredient. Okay, so love is what. Okay, so yeah, he's saying love is an ingredient. Um, it 
love is an ingredient add the recipe to your life so love is an ingredient that we can all add to our lives mix mix it in mix it in in your in your daily lives daily rituals he's saying in your everyday chores practices oh, see i think he's keeping watching us all because he knows <laughs> that we've got practices and routines <clears throat> Yeah, he's saying love is portable, you can carry it with you throughout the day. Show love and combine it with kindness to others, other people. Um, it's not just about romantic love, it's not just about relationship love, he's saying. He's saying that it's... Um, yeah, love encompasses compassion, kindness, listening, empathy. It's a whole bunch of things <coughs> mixed up in, in, into one. And with that, okay, he's saying, <laughs> he's saying it's, it's not a secret recipe. It, it's available for everyone, so it's not that it's a secret recipe. Yeah, it, it's available for everyone, so there's no excuse for people not to use it because we all we all have the recipe, he's saying it. We all have the recipe to um, to, show, to show love, kindness and compassion to people. We all have the ability to desire it as well, but more importantly, we should um, be practising showing it showing it showing love as well not just always want, wanting it for ourselves um sh definitely showing it to others um being there for one another to support each other um but yeah he's showing me um just little acts acts of acts of kindness and love but he's showing me holding the door open for somebody um Yeah, he's saying include it in it. Okay. So he's saying include it in your life each day and he's showing me you're holding the door open for somebody and you know, somebody even, you know, in a wheelchair. Um he's saying, you know, showing it to people who are less fortunate than ourselves. Um kindness, compassion, yeah, so um Okay, he's going, he's going quite quick now. Slow down, slow down. He's going quite quick, he's just pulling things out and now he's saying love notes, leaving love notes around. Um, oh, okay, so, okay, so yeah, he's not, he's not, <laughs> he's not talking in sentences now, he's just giving me quick, quick words when I'm asking him to slow down. He's actually saying to me, will you show me, he's showing me the cars, he's showing me the cars, I'll be like the fast cars, so he's saying, you know, well, I don't slow down. I like fast cars, so yeah. So he's he's just, he's just giving me little bits. So yeah, he's saying love notes, holding the door open for people. Okay, let's let's just do it how you want to do it then. Um. Yeah, he's even showing me um, feeding the birds. So even to creatures and animals as well. Spread the love. Spread the kindness to all beings, regardless of race, colour, ethnicity, gender, he's saying, um, pets, whether they're yours or not, animals, um, yeah, that, that's beautiful, I love that, he's saying, um, yeah, sh show love, show love to the little people, um, saying sh yeah show love to to all and don't worry about what anyone thinks <coughs> some people hold back because they don't want to um 
that are afraid to show love not just because of the upbringing that they're not able to express love he's not talking about that he's talking about people and um, maybe not want, wanting to show love because yeah they feel that it makes them seem weak um but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make you weak at all he's saying you know no judgment but the weak-minded ones are the ones who don't show their authentic selves or are not able to um dig deep and reach inside of themselves to express that love so it's never weak to show love it's an act of, of kindness it's an important emotion it's an important energy to share and it what it's what he's saying it's what connects us all together um it's what keeps everybody connected and united he's saying love is very powerful love is a very powerful energy and if we all continue to show love rather than hate then the world would be a much better place. Um, but he's also saying that um, the vibration of love is a very high one. So the more we send that out, even to those that we don't necessarily feel deserve it, the more that will raise the vibration. So we've got to each learn to change our ways, change our thinking as in not being so quick to condemn those that we don't feel um, follows a certain path, those who we feel are unlike ourselves, those who um, those who are selfish okay no, okay so now just gotta wait for he him, what he's gonna say now because he's not giving it to me the way he was okay so yeah that Okay, those who seem, those who seem cowardly, and um, those who act, um, okay, okay, those who act unkind towards us, um, from afar. Yeah, he's saying, you know, he's not saying that you have to keep people like that in your lives. But what he's saying is from afar, he's talking about him. Um, he's not necessarily talking about people anyway that's around. I think he's talking about um, people who we see social media wise, TV wise, people who don't necessarily, we don't agree with their actions or things like that, regardless of, you know, um, Yeah, he's not, he's not talking about people who you're hating and killing anybody. He's just, he's just talking about things. Yeah, there's a lot of hate out there where people don't necessarily have the same opinions, and um, you know share the same practices. Um, it doesn't matter regardless of what it is they do. Everybody has their own belief and path to follow, and even if it's not necessarily in line with yours, um, there's still there's still um. It's still not necessary to send out that hate you can still send out that love to those those people and you don't necessarily have to be amongst them you don't have to share the company but yeah rather than going online you know especially that is that what you're talking about more yeah okay yeah he's saying yeah he's saying everywhere a lot online around town in the street <laughs> at home yeah, whatever, he, whatever he's saying. Um, he's just saying that, yeah, it's not necessary. So, yeah, he's just talking about the, the whole... There's a lot of hate online as well, and bullying, etc. So, name-calling. 
um, judgment n n He's saying, he's saying, he's saying nit, nit picking. I'm not sure if that'd be a word he'd use, but that, that's the word he's using today. Um, but yeah, he's just talking about keeping the vibration raised, yeah, and not sending out the hate. Okay. Are you okay there? Okay. He's having a little um he's shaking his shit like he's hot and he's saying Okay. Okay, he's saying he hasn't done he hasn't done this in a while. It's 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 new for him but he's he got a lot out there. Yeah, he's saying express himself in that way, so um, I'm not too sure, but um, well done. You did that, you know, that was nice what you shared, shared with us. Anything else, or mm. it's somewhat um, love, love for our children is you know, a very special bond. Um, You're saying it's a unique bond. Um, but yeah, he's talking about... Um, okay, let me, just, let me just get this straight what he's saying. Okay, so he's talking about the father and father son relationship is a special bond, but he's also saying the father daughter relationship is a special bond. And I think what he's talking about is well, that, that's what he's saying, but he's not going the full sentence with this. So, <clears throat> okay, so yeah. Now he's, he's talking quite quick, okay? So let me just catch what you're saying. What are you saying? I'm gonna, okay, let me relay what it is you're saying and then I'll check back in with you if that, that's what you're saying. Because he's giving me pieces and he's speaking quite fast. So what he's saying is, is the, the father-son relationship, the father-son relationship is, is a bond. The father-daughter relationship is, is a unique bond as well. But I think what he's saying is that um men kind of sometimes um because of what transpires in the world what he's saying is because of what transpires in the world i.e the certain people who do certain things that's you know shouldn't be happening with with with, with little people that men often find it difficult to express um like when they're out and about, say like admiring, you know, a, a, a female little person. So I say I say it like that. Um, because I'm just being careful how 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 I wear things. So yeah, men automatically can't just be out and about and admire a female little person, um, because they may be seen as it's you know it's it's not not right, um so. In that sense, yeah, men are held back from being able to ex express how, how they are because of, you know, certain people in the world that do things. Um, so, is, is, that, is that the point you're trying to, to get across? Okay, yeah, that, so that's it, yeah. Okay, so he's just saying that, yeah, that, that, that's such a shame because there would be more room for an outpouring of love if everybody was free to be playful, yeah, and express how they are without a fear of being, um, yeah, judged, arrested, or you know, any, anything like that. People, people fear that 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 could happen to them, so they don't, 
necessarily um, behave in, in, in how they, they usually would or they have to hold back um, on something as simple and beautiful as that but because of the way the world is that yeah you know they um, mm, they're, they're not able to, to express that um, but yeah that, that, that is that, that is a shame but um, Um, okay, so what else do you want to say? Okay, um, have you got any more to touch on, on that subject at all? Any any advice for anybody um, looking for love or what they should do to maintain a relationship? Or... Okay, so yeah, he showed me a rose and he's saying, um, 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 he's, yeah, he's saying, be romantic, be romantic, nice little gestures, um, important yeah nice little gestures romance um yeah love caring friendship empathy compromise compassionate passionate faithful loyalty truth truthful There's a lot of things that have to go into, you know, making up a successful relationship. Um, so it's not just about, it's not just about one thing. It's not just about how each other feels. It's a whole package of things that have to go in because mm, the emotion, the emotion of, um, the emotion of the relationship isn't enough to hold it together because we've all seen, um, people who do love each other, but that can be toxic love. That can be um, two people just codependent on each other. So, but the feelings are there, but it, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's not gonna be enough to maintain a healthy relationship. So it's not just about how they feel, it's not just about the love he's saying, it's, he's saying that it's a whole lot different components that go towards making um, a good healthy um, a good healthy successful relationship um, yeah so it's, it's not just it's not just one thing um, Okay, so now he's just sh show me something else. Let me just see what he's getting at. Okay, so he's show me um yeah, show me <laughs> skip a rope. <laughs> but he's saying that means be playful. So be playful also, don't forget to be playful with each other. Um yeah, join join together, he's saying spend quality time together. Um, and he's yeah he's relaying what a few of the others have said that yeah put the phones down put the phones aside spend quality time with each other whether that be looking each other's looking in each other's eyes um conversation a meal together um yeah he's saying um. He's say, he saying no television, none whatsoever, none whatsoever. Yeah, so he's saying like, yeah, even turn the TV off, you know, do things together, whether it be an evening of, of making love, um, doing things together, hobbies, hobbies, doing things together. Yeah, so he's showing me um, a ride on the beach, a horse riding on the beach. A drive, drive, driving together. Um, yeah, 
mm, sitting having a sitting having a picnic, sitting having a meal. But he's saying eye eye contact and sitting together opposite each other and really taking each taking each other in connecting, connecting. But he's somehow yeah, he's somehow connecting on a on a soul level as well. Not just as a superficial level. Um he's saying there's got to be more to it than looks. It's got to be about compatibility. It's got to be um, get a meeting of minds as well and, and more um, conversation and just um, he's saying that, that um, the phrase is je ne sais quoi. <laughs> he's saying He's laughing. He's laughing at me trying to say it. But he's saying, um, yeah, there just has to be that something, that that spark, that attraction, that, um, yeah, compatibility, friendship, he's saying, yeah, loyalty. He's going through, through the list again of what he said. Um, what, was, what did you just say then? <laughs> Okay, he's just, he's just making a little joke about saying, it's not about saying body part size. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's, 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 he's cracking up now, he's too busy laughing. Um, you take your time, Paul. Um, oh yeah, just forgot to say as well, just show you, this is what Paul has shown himself, how he's shown himself this evening if you could just see that so yeah that's how he's showing himself that's how his hair is tonight maybe just a little slightly longer on the top but yeah he hasn't he hasn't got he's not showing himself to me as having shaved hair i don't know he's he yeah he, he has had so yeah he's he's got hair how he's showing me and he's been in mm, yeah he came in for a chat the other night he, he had hair he then as well so yeah he's shown me the same look that he, he has had previously for me so i've not seen him with shaved hair yet because yeah they can um you know show themselves um, in different in different stages of their life so they can show themselves how how they wish to where they want to be you know in the, maybe the mature years or the younger years different hairstyles so but yeah that that's how i've not seen him with shaved hair he's had hair and this is the second time I've, I've seen Paul, so yeah, he's um, he's got hair. So I thought I'd just explain that to give him a little moment while he's he's laughing. He's still giggling. He's actually still laughing at that. <laughs> the little joke we made. Okay. No, he's having a good laugh. Okay, seeing he's okay now. Okay. Do you want to let us know what else it is that you want to talk about? Okay, he wants to talk about narcissism. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Do you wanna what is it that you wanna say on that? Okay, he's saying that there's um Okay, narciss narcissists. You're saying, unfortunately, yeah. There's a there's a lot of them around. There's a lot of them around. Yeah, there's a lot of them around in our world. Me and ours. Um, of course. Um. You're saying a lot of them do a huge um disservice disservice to humanity um, he's saying yeah he's saying it's, he's not wanting to judge but you know that that's that's the truth of the matter he's saying that they um, they can cause a whole heap of trouble um 
regardless of um, regardless of, of anyone's feelings or situation. Um, okay, just yeah, you just need to just say that again. Sorry. Sometimes, sorry, okay, just give me a moment. Sometimes you say a couple of things or just putting words together, so. Um. Okay, okay. Right, okay, so yeah, you say no regard. They have no regard for anyone's feelings. Sorry, but yeah, well, that wasn't coming through as, as that. It was just a little bit different what, what it was coming through as. So, yeah, we, they've got no regard for anyone's feelings. Um, but themselves. Um, he said, yeah, so, he, he, yeah, when I asked him what it is he wants to talk about, he's just, he was relaying these words to me. He was saying hateful, resentful, vengeful. Um, evil on and, and for, for both parts. Um, what are you saying? That, um, they're off. Yeah, you saw more, but it often is a, the dynamic of the empath, narcissist connection, which. Which can be very explosive, but very detrimental to yeah to one party because um, um okay so he's talking about um okay let me just get just get a clear what he's saying because I want I want to get it right so. So yeah. yeah. Okay, he's, he's gone quiet now. Just just run that by me again, please. Um, what is it about the the empaths and the narcissist combina combination? Okay, so he's talking about. Okay, so. Yeah, what he's saying is, just let me know if that's not right. He's saying that, yeah, oft, quite often what can happen is the empath will sometimes blame themselves because they feel that perhaps their, their behaviours are the toxic ones because they can feel and sense, um, sometimes pick up the feelings of the other person. So then in that case, they may question whether it's them themselves that's, it's got the toxic traits, but um, but yeah, he's he's saying um, um, and that that's when things can go drastically wrong. Um, but it's very, it's very, it's very detrimental to be in in the yeah. It's very detrimental to be in the company of somebody like that. Um. Sometimes those people will be the ones that you trust. Um. It's not necessarily easy to um. Spot our first somebody who's like that. Sometimes they can be the closest people to us. Um. And we, we we may never know that um they are like that until they want to show the true colours. Sometimes it can be only after certain events happen that we realise um that those those people that you know are in fact like that. Um he's also relaying the fact that um 
there's times when you may suspect that that person's like that but sometimes some people just um have trouble seeing that not um not because they're stupid or naive you're saying it's just that sometimes they they want they only they, they either want to or they can only see the good in people or they try to see the good in people so some people question that whether it is so the dynamic of somebody who's yet maybe meet a narcissist sometimes they question whether um when they see small traits of that person they can sometimes question whether that is in in, in fact true or if they've made a mistake so it's not always easy for even empaths and intuitives to spot those traits he's saying um sometimes by the time they do it's too late um but he's saying that um There's a lot of questions that need, there's a lot of questions that need to be asked for us to understand more on the subject. Not everybody, mm, okay, yeah. Not, not everybody completely understands um, the true meaning and the true nature of what it is to be a narcissist he's saying he's saying a lot of people sometimes jump the gun and um yeah and he's saying like diagnosing somebody as being that um when it's not necessarily so just because somebody may not act in, the, in, the, in a manner that you, you think is appropriate um or somebody who cheats or is angry or has you know what we refer to as, as, as toxic behaviors and traits that doesn't automatically qualify for them to be called a narcissist because that's not actually what it is um i think he's gonna tell us what it is Um, not only the behaviours, what you mentioned before, he's saying, so yeah, spiteful, vengeful, selfish, evil, um, yeah, he's saying those but narcissistic tendencies can go way, way beyond that. And, and what he's talking about is um, okay. I just want to just let me listen to what he's saying because I, I wanna I wanna get this right. Okay, just let me um, let's say that again. Okay, so yeah, what he's saying is, sorry Paul, sorry. Okay, yeah, a narcissist can be somebody who gets really close to you, can be like a really good friend, but would, um, yeah, it would be, could be a really good friend, but also not think even twice about taking someone out and, um, have no remorse so yeah he's saying that narcissists go way it, he's explained that it goes way beyond what people just assume oh the, the quick they're very quick to just label people narcissists as he said because of yeah perhaps they don't behave in the same way or they have toxic traits toxic behaviors cheating lies um <clears throat> um, verbally abusive or um, um, 
sorry, possessive as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, possessive. So yeah, a lot of those things, of course, they make up a very health, unhealthy, abusive relationship and it's a lot of toxic traits, but he's saying that, um, yeah, a lot of people are quite quick to just, you know, um, label people as that when they don't actually know the true nature of what it means to be that, he's saying. Um, he's saying that it's not just that, but it, it can go to that level. So yeah, it's he, he's just saying that, that yeah, a lot of people just labeled it as that when it's not necessarily so. In today's world, that's common. Um, so, um, anything else that you want, want to say? So, okay, just give me a minute to see, to see what he's saying. He's not speaking. Okay, what, what else did you want to say on that subject? Do you still want to stay on that subject or? Oh, okay, what, what else? Okay, so, okay, speaking fast now. Okay, so people, um, people recognize, and most likely to recognize that when it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, it's someone in the lives or somebody in the family whether it be relationship or someone in the family people are f now failing to recognize that it is um okay i you, let me just wait for him to to put it into words Mm, but yeah so the point he's trying to make is that yeah people are aware that you know they'll say like oh you know my parents and well, my partner narcissist but he's saying that um people are failing to recognize that yeah i'm not on a worldly scale um there's a lot more around who people are putting the trust in that, 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 that's what he that's what he wants to say he's trying to word it um but at least yeah he's saying for example like authoritative figures um people who were um people who are people who are posing as as People. Okay. Okay, just give me a minute, stop speaking. What is it you <coughs> what is it you want to say? Okay, just give him a second. He's just getting his words together. Just take take your time. It's okay. You feel relaxed? Yeah, he's fine. He's smiling. He's fine. He's just getting us. <sighs> okay, he's just th thinking about what he, what he's going to say. Okay, so he's saying <clears throat> what he's what he's basically saying is. I know what he's he's trying to say. He's saying that the people who are posing as 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 you know government and people who um, are wanting you to think that they have your best interest at heart. He's saying there's 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 a lot of narcissists there that people aren't noticing them. People are, are quite aware of them in their own lives and stuff, but you're not really seeing that it's actually a lot of those who. You put your faith and your trust into and you're listening to. Is is that fair? Is that fair to say? 
<laughs> yeah, he's saying spot on. <laughs> he couldn't seem to put it into words. Um, but I think he just helped me put it into words then. Is that, is, is that right? Okay, no. Well, he did. They usually do, but he's saying, no, you got that on your own. <laughs> so, but yeah, that, that, that's what it is that he's wanting um, to convey. So, yeah, he's just, again, he's giving out the message, just, just be aware. Just be conscious of what's going on in the world today. If you want a better, more peaceful and freer, freer world, then mm, awaken, be more conscious, be aware. Just, just be aware of who you put your faith and your trust in too. Um, I don't think he's got to touch too much on that. What else do, do, do you want to speak about? Okay, so is, is this is this is this stuff that that's gonna be good for us or? Okay, so he's talking about some ho hobbies. He's saying he wants to talk about hobbies. Um, he's yeah, he's saying find find something that that in interests you um find your passion yeah find your passion something that interests you but something that you love and if possible yeah if you can make if you can choose something that you love to do for a living then um, it's a win-win situation it, it It, it deadens the mind and you've got to do the daily grind and do something that you're not um that you're not happy doing that you, that doesn't fulfill you and it's not something that you're passionate about it's just something that you just fall into just just to get by and pay the bills so we're saying if possible try and find something that you you enjoy doing at least He's suggesting that we get out in nature. He's suggesting that we we keep our connection with each other, with 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 animals. Yeah, he's saying. Yeah. yeah, he's he's saying all animals, not just our pets. He's talking about um. Okay, so he's just saying, yeah, keep connection with, with pets, but, you know, whatever they are. If it's a day out at the zoo, connect, connect with them. Um, if it's other people's pets, connect with them. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, saying, he's saying the world's a harsh place at the moment. But everybody just needs to be that little bit kinder. Um, look, just look out for, for others. Um, basically, saying good, good thing, good things are coming. There's a lot of light being poured down. There's a lot of assistance for those who wish to receive it. Um, and it, yeah, he's showing me, he's showing me um, two hands. Um, okay, yeah, so, yeah, let me just, he's, he's showing me images now, so he's basically showing me two hands, and he's showing me, um, let me just check in with Paul. He showed me two hands and he showed me sand, <clears throat> two hands, so he cupping the sand and the sand slipping through the hands. So he's saying that there's a lot of 
angelic assistance and there's a lot of light being poured onto the planet and he's saying if you're open to it be open to it because if you're not open to it just like the sands you, you're just letting all the help and assistance and the beauty that you could be receiving just slip through your fingers so he's urging people to um take care with your words take care for what you 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 ask for take um because what you take care of what you're manifesting as well so he's talking about the power of, of words you know what you what the words that you speak be careful what it is that you speak into existence what you you know put out there into the universe what is it that you're constantly talking about is it are you talking about negative stuff are you talking about positive stuff are you affirming that you know what it is that you want rather than what what you don't so just be a little bit more mindfully saying about yeah what it is that you're talking about what is it going on there um he's showing me um he's showing me car 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 at the moment Okay, he's just show me some moments, just let me just see what it is he's, he's trying to say because it's not speaking. I'm just going to ask him to, to let me know what it is he wants to say. Okay, okay, so now he's, yeah, he's wanting to just say, um, he was, t okay, so. Okay, so at the at the, at the at the crash site where there's um yeah where the crash happened he he said that he he was able to go there and witness the touching tributes um that were laid that were laid out for him so yeah he's just wanting to give thanks give thanks for that um. He felt honoured for the, for the love, the outpouring of love and tribute that people paid to him. Um, mm. He was he was able to see. He was able to he was able, being able to see what what ha what's ha what happened. Um. He's able to see what um, what transpires over here. He's able to look in on his um, on his friends, um, his family. So he knows all what's um, transpiring, and um, because they're still able to look in there yeah, from where they are and to see, you know, who's checking on people, checking on loved ones. Um, Anything else that you want to say on that? Mm, he's just, he's just saying, he's just saying thank you, thank you for that. Mm. Anything else you'd like to share? Okay, yeah, he's just showing me, um, yeah, show me that girl with a, with a teddy bear. So he's saying that he's, he's, yeah, he watched, he watches, he raised his daughter when he was here, but he's watched his daughter go from a little girl and he's seen her grow into um, a beautiful woman, a beautiful young woman. He's still able to observe that. And watch over it and his loved ones. Um, so, but he's, he's able to see what all what's transpired, what what the, what they're doing, and what's going on in their lives. Um, 
and who we spend time with. So all those things he's, he's able to see. Mm. He's saying he enjoys that. He enjoys being able to check in on them and take care of them. Take, he still takes care of them in, in the ways that he can. Um, he's limited to what he can do because he's not on the physical plane, but um, he tries his best and you know what, the things he can do from, from where he is, he, he, he does them. He does all he, he can to take care of his family. Relaxing there, or okay, just just checking in on them. Is there anything else that you you, you want you want to say, Paul? <laughs> he's saying, you think, yeah, he's saying that that's fine, that that that's all we've got to say. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that was just some nice words, um, words of caution, some nice words. Um, but you know, yeah, what it is the world just needs to show some more love. So some nice words from Mr. Paul Walker there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. Um, Paul sitting back and that's just a little bit that he wants to come and share. Um, with us this evening, um, he really kindly, kindly um, stepped in, bless him, because as I say, he wasn't really supposed to be here tonight doing this video, but he was supposed to come at some point, but he's coming tonight to share those thoughts with us, so yeah, um, thank you for watching, um, hope you like this video, um, let me know what you think, um, let me know in the comments, please remember to like, share, subscribe, yeah, comment, let me know your thoughts, um who it is you'd like to see um things of that nature yeah so just let me know but yeah um hope you have a wonderful week the week's been whizzing by but yeah hope you all enjoy the rest of the week and i will be back again with somebody else i'm not too sure who it will be now because now i'm wondering if it's going to be patrick or but next in line after patrick was Jimi hendrix um, there'll probably be a, a good few more flowing through but then I'm going to have to see if maybe we can do a part two with some of the ones that have already done because some of them um, come back I think it'll be nice just to hear a little bit extra from some of them so yeah, um, yeah enjoy the rest of your week and thank you for watching thank you very much, much appreciated um, and speak to you soon thank you very much, bye Mwah.